back to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video and today I was actually thinking about starting um, a brand new sort of series on my channel um, to do with Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and um, in this series I think this is going to be a continuation of a series that I actually previously did on Garden Warfare 1. You guys, if you're a long time viewers, you will know that in back in I think January and before that this year and just the end of 2015, I did a series called Quest to Max Rank. I want to redo this series, revamp it up um, for Garden Warfare 2 because I really really want to get to max rank in Garden Warfare 2. I am currently rank 3438, max rank is currently like 5200 or something, so um, I am not sure how long that is going to take me, but I am going to be um, trying to aim to get to max rank in the future. So for what these videos are going to be, is I am going to be playing as the different characters that I am ranking up right now. So if you guys will have seen the last uh, promoting characters to master video, I promoted all of my kernel corns to master. And now we're moving on to the cacti. The, uh, the original cactus is actually ready to be promoted to master already because I played as the cactus quite a while ago and I have been playing as the cactus recently so we've moved on to the fire cactus already what we're gonna do though is we're gonna do what i am doing with the all stars so if i switch over to the zombie side and show you i've already got all these zombies to promote um to the next um or to promote to like elite and stuff so um that's what i'm doing i'm gonna be getting all of them up to, to promote at once and then promoting them all at once so that then they're all at the same sort of rank um and in the same sort of place so today we're going to be either playing as the fire cactus or we are going to be playing as one of the all stars to try to get to max rank i am slowly making my way there and i also have uh, zero exclusions and carbark in the game right now which is really awesome um so yeah we're going to be playing just a few games i'm not sure what games we're going to play um so i will see you guys in the game Okay, we're in the game. We actually went into some mixed mode, um, but we were actually put onto herbal assault anyway, so that's completely fine. We're on the plant side, so we are going to be the fire cactus today. Um, so what the main aim is for this is going to be to try and get as much, uh, as many points as possible, as much XP as possible. So um, that was going to be the point of basically every single video in this sort of mini series in the Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 series I have on my channel. Um, so let's see, so we have Carl on the uh, zombie side and uh, Dylan on the, um, oh my goodness, on the plant side, but it looks like we actually got vanquished by a ZPG. Um, so, these videos are going to be a little bit similar to my character showcases, but we're not going to be focusing on showcasing the character, we're going to be focusing on trying to get loads of XP, because that, as everyone does know, is the way that you can use to rank up. Um, there's a, there's a, is that the Electro Cactus or the Power Cactus here? I'm not really sure, but that's an awesome cactus that we are going to be moving on to when we have um, got this cactus up to level 10, so then we can move on to the next one. Um, I, actually, I think it's the, I think it is the, um, the Ice Cactus that's next, I'm not really sure though, but it looks like we actually ranked up now, so we have gained another rank towards um, max rank, so we're slowly getting there, step by step, rank by rank, to get to max rank, so if you guys um, watched my series on Garden Warfare 1, where I promoted all my characters, um, well I ranked up all my characters to get to uh, max rank, the the ranking system in Garden Warfare 1 was very different, so th the aim of those videos was to complete all the challenges in those videos so in the video i would focus on those challenges that i had left to do and then when i got to max rank i uh, completed the last challenge and then just finished off the game um just playing casually as the super commander i think that's the uh, character that i promoted uh, my account to master which is really cool because i really wanted to save these foot soldiers for last um funny enough i actually did like promoted them for the second um, characters that are promoting to master in Garden Warfare 2. I didn't want to end off with like the roses or something as like I didn't want to end off with a character that I didn't really enjoy playing as which is one reason why I'm actually playing as the cactus right now but I'm doing the cactuses now because I'm actually not very good at playing as the cactus even though it looks like I'm playing decently well as the cactus because I've already got four vanquishes but um, as you guys probably will know I never played as the cactus in Garden Warfare 1. I used um, like 500 or so skip challenge stars just promoting all of my cacti um, because I didn't want to play as the cactus in Garden for 1 because I wasn't really a big fan of the character 
but now the only way to actually um, level up is getting XP, which the only way you can actually get XP without having to actually get vanquishes is the fish in the sewers, and um, that costs five stars, I think, for 750 XP, which honestly is quite expensive. Um, I think I did use the I used the fish in the sewers to promote my popcorn um, to to be able to promote it to master. For, I think it was at level five, and then I got him all the way up to level nine, and that cost 50 stars. So it is quite expensive to do it that way, um, but that's basically what I did. Um, so it's that that's pretty much um, the only way you can get XP without having it to play matches or play like solo ops or garden ops or anything to do with actually playing the game. With Garden Warfare 1 you could actually get skip challenge stars which would allow you to skip challenges that you are una were like unable to do. So basically there were challenges actually to uh, like vanquish like a cactus drone with uh, a ZPG. I actually never got those in Garden Warfare 1. I was actually I actually got the challenge in um, Xbox uh, one though, because I think I, I max ranked out on Xbox 360. I have got some comments saying that like, how are you? How do you have the unicorn trombo? You're only like level 14 or whatever I am on Xbox One. Um, I got I got to max rank on Xbox 360, and I actually never encountered the um the drone one and the RPG one on Xbox 360. I'm not sure if it's an, an Xbox One exclusive one or like a next gen console exclusive one. I'm not really sure. Um, but I never got that challenge for some reason. Um, I thought that it was just like a made up challenge until I actually saw it, which was kind of funny. We have Mobcop here though, hello. I can't pronounce your name. What is your name? F F H K F K. I have no idea, but hello. You're in the game. You have the legendary customization for the Colonel Corn. I think you get that from, uh, um, I think it's the green trial, which is what I did recently. Hello, hello Dylan. Um, hello. Um, you are playing as the Ice P, and you have the Sasquatch hat, the silver one, which is really cool. So that means you did do the boss hunt. I think, I think you got all the hats as well. I think you did. Um, I've got all the hats as well, which is really cool. And we did manage to get the scrumptious one as well. Together, we played a game of uh, that together. So we got the scrumptious hats. Me and Dylan played a game of boss hunt, and we got the scrumptious hat, which is really cool. I'm really glad that we managed to get that because I didn't want to finish. Um, that weekend without getting the scrumptious hat because I felt like it was going to become like one of those really 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 like rare items that you wouldn't be able to get in the future because I'm not totally sure if they're going to make it so that I'm not sure if they're going to make it so that you have different bosses every time so I'm not sure if it's going to come back or if that boss is going to be reappearing or if we're going to be getting a completely different boss in the next boss hunt. Not totally sure, but if we if, if it is the Sasquatch next time, then um, that's fine. But if it is a different boss, I'll feel happy that I got the Sasquatch hat um, just because um, that might have been like a one-time thing or like a... Uh, a boss that only comes like every three or so challenges or whatever or events so that'd be cool if it was a different boss that'd be cool if we could actually do a boss on the zombie side next time we have boss hunt that'd be pretty awesome but I've actually just noticed I haven't changed my potato mine to the pizzazzling potato mine I will uh, make sure to do that next time I am vanquished um, so let's try and get this imp over here. We've actually ranked up quite a bit today. Um, I think we ranked up like once, I think. So not too many times actually, but maybe once or twice today. Um, but we are rank um, 3,440. So yeah, I think yeah we have been vanquished uh, twice today. But there we go. We've got a Torchwood right here. It is uh, one of the new characters that you can unlock um, in, uh, I think it's the Trials of Gnomus. Um, I'm really looking forward to being able to play as the Torchwood. He has a really, really funny... Um, gesture that you can have as on the character which is really cool so um yeah i'm looking forward to playing as the character i think for the zombie side it's the hover goat 3000 correct me if i'm wrong but i've still got to get two more keys to be able to unlock those characters there is a new mystery portal event tomorrow um as of the time that this video is going to go out so look forward to that guys i will hopefully get another key on thursday but i'm not saying that i will so if i do get another key on uh, Thursday then I will only be one key away from getting all four keys and then I will have to unlock all the characters and I do believe it's like 25 rainbow stars for each lock so it's like 100 what is that noise my what 
<laughs> the cactus kept making dying noises. Oh well. Um, but yeah, I think it's like 150 rainbow stars per character when you've unlocked them. And I, and I do think you do have to like defeat this rainbow this rainbow gnome or something i have no idea i just had heard, like heard rumors seen like thumbnails of videos and stuff in my subscriptions for the, the um the final thing you have to do so not totally sure what you, what you do have to do um i actually forgot to change my potato mine again didn't i i'm gonna have to remember to do that in the next time uh, i die to change it to a bazazzling potato mine hopefully we can change that sometime soon which means i'm actually hoping to die sometime soon is this mech gonna kill me nope we're gonna okay we're gonna die now because there is <laughs> i think that's carl barker actually yeah that must be him um yes it is so we're gonna go ahead and change our potato mine to be a bezazzling potato mine which is the new one so we'll go to not the character upgrade the gest not the gestures oh my god um the abilities and uh the bezazzling potato mine um thank you for all the support on that video by the way guys that video literally it has 2,000 views right now which is crazy just for like a normal video that I have made um, so thank you guys for that I think that was the boss hunt video as well as the possessing potato mine so thank you a lot for that guys really does mean a lot I'm really looking forward to seeing what the mystery portal event is this week and I will definitely be doing a video on that but guys next week there is no mystery portal event so I will not be getting all of the four keys for at least two weeks so that is very uh, annoying I guess but it's fine because there is actually a new community challenge next week. I'm really looking forward to seeing what that is. We actually haven't managed to get the final third chest for that in quite a while. So that will be really cool to do that um, in the future. <laughs> we just have <laughs> we're just Dylan just looking at me as the ISP. Um, but yeah let's go over here and um, Hopefully we can win this game. Um, so we are in mixed mode. So I'm guessing we're only going to be playing this one game. Because mixed mode took us into herbal assault. So um, I'm not really sure if we're going to have time for another game. I feel like we're not going to. So definitely next episode we will play as one of the all stars as well. Um, I actually haven't played much of the cacti on um, any of my videos. Just because the cacti are my favourite characters to showcase. Uh, they, they were actually the last characters that I showcased I think, well, well they, they were the, like the last line of characters that I showcased just because I'm not really a big fan of the cacti um, even though like I have 19 kills already which isn't too bad at all we have been, uh, we've been revived by Dylan there, that's really cool um, let's go over here, let's try and get rid of all these guys, there's three of them here oh no there's a, there's a zoologist there, they've been vanquished though which is really cool there's loads of plants up here so hopefully we can just hop in here hopefully the train is not going to come over this way and we can hop into here and try and um, capture but we were vanquished uh, with the sprint tackle by the all star so let's just respawn after this and we can try to win this game we've only got about a minute left to capture this so hopefully we can do this and hopefully you guys are excited for this series as much as i am i'm going to try to do um this like at least once a week for um quest to max rank uh, i think i think i'm going to call this quest to max rank 2.0 um just because i've already done a quest to max rank and that was on garden warfare 1 so if you guys want to check out that series you can to be honest it was really fun series to do and uh, you guys will notice that uh, my ranks actually did go up quite a lot during that series because i actually was focusing off camera to rank up a lot and um, i i really stepped up my game in january because i had about 150 ranks in january and um by the time it was the, the release of Garden Warfare 2 I was already max rank I gained a, lo a lot of ranks in a time space of about two weeks uh, not two weeks um, just over a month so it was pretty cool I did grind a lot though I got like, about five ranks a day at least but looks like we do not manage to win this game of turf takeover that's fine though hopefully we can get a lot of coins and then i will be ending the video here when we see how many coins we get and if we get any boasts as well that would be awesome if we got any boasts i'm guessing we're not going to get any boasts though um because we weren't here for the entirety of the game are we gonna get any boasts we do not wow <laughs> uh, zero exclusions got 35 vanquishes with the vanquish stick of 13 the pea shooters are awesome that just confirms it but yes guys if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like they really do mean a lot to me subscribe for more videos because i'm going to be uploading every monday wednesday friday and sunday and the other videos in the week are going to be extra videos for the week and i will hope you see you all again next time have a good day everyone goodbye